everyone, it's Amanda with Masterworks Canada. My amazing partner in crime, Igul Fritzky, and myself have an awesome technique for you to make your life a lot easier with that dreaded form fit. First you're going to do is remove that free edge. The less you have in your way, the easier this will be. You're going to take your Masterworks refining scissors and you're going to measure from side wall to side wall right where your nail edge is. You're going to take this measurement and ensure that your scissors are centered on the form and you're going to press down just enough to make an indent. Coming back in for a second measurement, right where that imaginary line is, to the tip of your nail. You're also going to make that indent nice and centered on your form. Make sure you're indenting enough that you can see them afterwards. And you're going to connect the dots and cut out exactly down that line. We're using the Masterworks forms, which are absolutely amazing for this. Once it's cut, you're going to remove it off the backing, cut open your back, and slightly tack the bottom layer of your form. This will ensure that you keep everything centered and will help with your C-curve. Coming in nice and gentle, make sure you work those edges of the form gently underneath the little bit of free edge that you have left and tack into place. Use your file just to measure and see exactly how straight this form has happened. Doing a relief cut is also very important for your C-curve. So again, taking your Masterworks refining scissors and just making a tiny cut down each side wall This will ensure that the form actually fits down and isn't stopped by the edges of your finger. Come back in to cut off the little tags. You don't want those to mess around in with your gel, so just get them out of the way. And pressing in your form, making sure again it's secured. So just to go over once more exactly those measurements, we're going to draw it out on pencil. So from edges, both side walls, that's where you're going to draw your first imaginary line for your first measurement. And your second one is going to be right down the center to where that line is to the edge of your nail. So you're going to make a T. The nice thing about this form fitting technique is that it allows you to actually cut that form without having to mess with their form and go back in and out for different measurements. Nice easy fit. No messing around. Thanks for watching.